hey guys so in today's video i'm gonna be showing you how to draw eyelashes now in today's video i'm gonna, only gonna be showing you the front view and if you want me to do tutorial where i show you all of the views for the eyelashes then just comment down in the comment section below i want more so yeah and also uh the first i'm just gonna teach you how to draw eyelashes and how your hands should go while you're drawing the each hair strand for the eyelash and then i'm just going to be going on to the softwares like procreate in sketchbook and show you guys what brushes works the best for eyelashes so the basic lesson would be on paper just to show you guys how all the gestures of the hands go and then i'll jump on the softwares like procreate and sketchbook just to show you the brushes that i use so i hope you like that so the first thing you need to know is how the each how the each hair strand in which direction do they go while you're drawing eyelashes front view so let's just divide this lash line into three parts so here in this section the hair strand goes in this direction in the mid part they go upwards and on the inner part they go in this direction so this should be clear similar for the lower lash line as well just divided into three parts the they go uh, the ones which are at the end of the eyes goes in this direction middle middle ones goes downwards and the ones which are near the inner corner goes in this direction so that's about the direction of each hair strand for the eyelashes now how should each hair strand look now hair strand should go this way and to naturally draw it like to make it look effortless you your hand should move should move like this i hope that makes sense so when you are doing this and when you're going upwards like this put less pressure put, put less pressure when you're going upwards like this so it looks very natural and effortless so i hope that makes sense so the hair in this part would go like this and in the middle direction in the middle part they would go upwards like this and here they would go like this so the shape would be similar as you can see they should be curved from the bottom but the direction would change and similarly for the lower lash line they would go like this the shape of uh, the hair strand should be like this and should go with the direction that i just told you like this now i know this looks really messy but i do have something right here and i'm just going to show you how to really draw eyelashes on a eye sketch so this is just a quick eye sketch i just made for this video so i'm just gonna as you all know i'm just gonna divide the whole eye in my mind into three parts and i'm just gonna start drawing the eyelashes with the similar hand gesture that i just showed you and the similar hair strand look or the shape of it so let's just get started with that so the great tip to do this is to first uh, draw the lashes really lightly so that you can go if you mess up you can clean it up later so that's the key on the paper digitally we don't really care we have undo option so as you can see, the hair on the middle part are going upwards. The hair on the end of the eyes are going this in this direction. Now I'm just going to change the direction of the hair when we are going in the inner part of the eye like this. Similarly for the lower lash line as well, just draw light hair strands. And once you're happy with that, you can just go ahead and, you know, darken them up. 
So the key here is to make the bottom part of the lashes really dark and the upper part of the eyelashes should be lighter competitively. Looks perfect. Okay, so the another tip that I want to give you guys is to make your lashes look that much realistic is just focus on what I'm doing. So suppose these are the lashes quickly. So you're uh, you know familiar with the lash direction. So once you have the lighter version of your sketch, what you want to do is you want to make sure that the bottom part of the lashes is darker. All right, and you just also add a few more hairs just near every eyelash hair strand. So that makes it look fuller and really nice. I hope that makes sense. Also, another tip is to, let's just suppose this is the lash line, so you don't want to draw the eyelashes from this point. You want to start drawing it from the underneath of the lash line, like this. So that curve right there makes it look that much more realistic. As you can see here, I have drawn the lashes from underneath the lash line. I hope that makes sense. Also, for the lower lashes, you want to draw hair strands like this, but always make sure... Okay, let me just focus. Oh, so let's just suppose this, these are the hair strands. Always make sure to add one more just underneath it like this. As you can see, so if this is the hair strand alone, just draw one more underneath it. It just makes it look more realistic that way and also just darken up the roots of it like this. I hope that makes sense. So these are a few, they look really nice like that. So I really hope you guys, you know, I really hope this all this makes sense. So uh, yeah, I really hope you guys found it helpful. I'm not done yet. I'm just going to jump on the softwares and just going to tell you what brushes to use. Now these are all the tips that I wanted to give you guys on how to draw eyelashes. And if you have any questions regarding this, just comment uh, in the comment section below and ask me anything if you have in your mind. So let's just jump on the softwares. Okay, so we are on Procreate. Now I'm not, not gonna waste time and not gonna talk much. So let's just jump on what brush I use to make eyelashes. So just go ahead and choose this inking brush set and pick up technical pen. Now this is my favorite brush to draw eyelashes and eyebrows as well so here you want to make sure you are not you know uh, going above 40 percent on the streamline because you want that effortless look on the hair strands of each eyelashes even for the eyebrows and if you haven't watched my eyebrow tutorial then you should watch it I do have uh, I'll just provide the link down in the description so let's just select any color you know now if you haven't watched the first part of this video go ahead and do that because i'm not going to be going in detail on how to draw eyelash like the basics of it i'm just showing you the brush that i like and how i draw lashes with it now the size of the brush totally depends on you and i'm just gonna okay draw eyelashes as you can see the first thing i do is i just always go lighter As you can see, I'm adding one more hair strand with each of the hair strand that I'm drawing, like that. And then when, when I'm happy with the eyelash, I just go ahead and darken the 
the hair strands up from the bottom like that and adding a few more hair strands just near every hair strand that I drew so that's how the upper lashes go and if you like the settings that I have uh, for this video just make sure that the brush size is 17% the opacity of the brush is 37 and I'm using technical pen as I said and streamline is up to 40% now I'm just gonna draw um, lower lashes as well and adding one more hair one more hair strand just underneath every lash that I draw I know the shape looks so off but this video is not about eye shape so that's how I do it on procreate and I always add this little dark dot on the end of each eyelash because it just gives it more of a realistic look and if you you know if you observe your eyelashes closely you can see that they are kind of darker at the bottom so that is why I do that so that's for the procreate now let's just move on to sketchbook Okay, so now we are on sketchbook. Now sketchbook doesn't have that technical pen kind of uh, brush, but they do have some settings that we can manipulate and the brush is going to look similar, a lot similar to technical pen in Procreate. So here I'm using this airbrush, which is soft airbrush. They have two airbrushes, but I prefer using this one as this is a little bit more precise. Now you want to make put more focus on the settings so once you have this brush open just go to advanced and you want to decrease this thing here which says opacity with light pressure it was up to 100% before but then I decreased it to zero or maybe 1% so that what it's going to do is the bottom of your lashes are gonna look darker and the ends of it are gonna look lighter as we are gonna be putting light pressure so I prefer um, a 0 0.3 size for the brush as you can see here you c it can range up to you know you can use uh, 0 0.1 or 0 0.3 does not you know increase the size of it too much from that point or else your eyelashes would look chunky so let me just start drawing them so as you can see they are look they're looking nice you can increase the size of the brush if you want to but i think this is fine and once I'm happy with the hairs, I just go ahead and make those hair strands a bit more dark than they already are, like that. They're looking much better than what I did in Procreate. Like that. And similarly, I'm just gonna draw lower lashes as well. So uh, the brush is looking really light when you first go in, but you can always go ahead and darken them up later on. Also, just add one more hair strand just underneath every lower lashes hair strand, if that make any sense. Like that. So yeah, that is it you guys. That is my a little tutorial on eyelashes and if you want to take a screenshot of the settings you can go ahead and do that but I literally just decreased the opacity with light pressure up to 1% and that is it and also the size of it and the color of it depends totally up to you so I really hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and if you did please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up also share this tutorial with your friends 
because this type of tutorial is not out there and I literally put all of my effort into it just to you know really teach you guys how these lashes are made <laughs> yeah and if you want more on this if you want me to do every view like I just did front view today if you want me to do more of this then just comment I want more in the comment section down below and yeah I will see you guys the next time